Good evening guys. Today we have the fourth lecture from Animal Kingdom that is on the topics phylum Platy helminthes and Ash helminthes. Hope you all are fine. Yes. Good evening all. Give me a thumbs up if you are ready for the session today. Come on. Thumbs up on the screen if you are ready. Yes. Nila, Deekshit, Prati, Palijil, Explorer, everyone, fine. Yes, and do not forget to hit the like button. Do share it with your friends. And if you are not yet subscribed to our channel, subscribe it right now. And join our Telegram group at Buy Point New from Telegram. Okay. And today we are starting with the topic platy helminthes, that is the flatworms. And last class we have discussed a short about this platy helminthes at the end of the session. Since we had uh, some extra time, we discussed that. Yes, Rujana. Okay, then we are starting today's session on platy helminthes. So we discussed that in case of uh, porifera, seal and trachea, I need area. We didn't have experienced any organ, right? And in case of this platy helminthes, they have organ level of organ uh, what organization. So such a level of organization start from this phylum, platy helminthes. And they have a bilateral symmetry. That is only it can be divided into two identical halves through only one plane. Not on any plane, through only one plane. That is why it is said to be as bilaterally symmetrical. It has triplo, it is triploblastic. That is, it has three germinal layers. If you can see this cut part, you can see the me ectoderm, mesoderm, and the endoderm. Therefore, we can say that it is triploblastic. Okay, are you able to follow? Comment me right now if you are able to follow. Fast. Yes. And the coelom, it is as coelomate. There is no C, excuse me. There is no coelom in case of this platy helminthes. Okay, Calvin, Dikshit, Pradipa. Okay, fine. So, as coelomate, there is no true body cavity in case of this platy helminthes. Okay, and they are mainly aquatic, endoparasite, and some are free living. Okay, some of them are free freeling, and most of them are internal. Parasites, okay, and they are mostly aquatic. And in case of digestive system, it is incomplete and has a single opening. In case of both mouth and anus, it has only a single opening and it is its incomplete digestive system. Look, if you check here, you can see this opening. This opening is the only opening that is there for this mouth and anus, okay. That is what is said to be the incomplete digestive system in case of this platy helminthes. No respiratory system is present. Anyway, we told that it is a organ level starts in case of this uh, platy helminthes, but there is no organ system. So respiratory system is not there. Digestive system is incomplete, still incomplete. No circulatory system in the same way. And yeah. These systems are absent. Is that clear? 
yes pradeepa endoparasite means that internal parasite okay have told it between okay reproduction it is both asexual it has both asexual and sexual forms of reproduction okay asexual form that is the fragmentation and sexual form uh, hermaphrodite internal fertilization occurs indirect development and there are more larval stages many larval stages are present in case of this platyhelminthes okay is that clear and they are unsegmented dorso ventrally flattened body that is in case except in case of tapeworms they are un, uh, what they are unsegmented and they have a dorso flattened body but in case of tapeworm it is round okay is that clear are you able to follow shivani s singh shrujana everyone and the excretion is done by flame cells that is in case of proto nephridia that is why yes calvin uh, they are done in uh, by means of proto nephridia okay and hooks are uh, suckers are present in case of this very important hooks and suckers are present in case of this platyhelminthes they absorb nutrients some of them absorb nutrients from the host through their body surface okay are you all able i hope you all are able to follow right so these are the example of this platyhelminthes tinea solium that is a pork tapeworm fascicola that is the liver fluke it is also known as the sheep liver fluke sheep okay sheep liver fluke and planaria sorry planaria very sorry planaria okay this is the character set a glance take a screenshot take a screenshot wait one second okay take it now hope it's done they have organ and organ system level of organization and they have a bilateral symmetry triploblastic acelomate they are mainly aquatic entoparasite and some are free living they have incomplete digestive system no respiratory system and no circulatory system incomplete digestive system means that it has only one opening that serves as both mouth and anus asexual reproduction by means of fragmentation okay it is hermaphrodite both asexual and her has both asexual and hermaphrodite that is sexual means of reproduction for internal fertilization occurs and development is indirect okay they are unsegmented and they have usually they have dorsally dorso ventrally flattened body but except in case of this tapeworm okay excretion by means of flame cells parasites have hooks and suckers okay example tinea solium fascicola and planaria okay hope all this is clear for you next we have this phylum ash helminthes okay next we have phylum ash helminthes if we finish it much earlier we will discuss something more extra okay is that clear so in case of ash helminthes we have the organ system level of organization starting organ system level of organization starts in case of this ash helminthes they have bilateral symmetry look this is loa loa this is the eye worm look in the uh, case of this eye you can see this okay and they have triploblastic germinal layer that is ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm are present okay they are pseudo coelomate so till now till platyhelminthes they were acelomate that is there is no body cavity but in case of this uh, ash helminthes we have pseudo coelom that is the false coelom not true but some kind of coelom false coelom is present okay that is 
in between this certain structures look like this body cavity will be present sorry very sorry here okay that is what is said to be the fall coelom or the pseudo coelom okay Habit and habitat. Some are aquatic, some are terrestrial, some are free living and or parasitic in plants and animals. In case of animals and plants, they live as parasites. Okay, look inside the intestine, you can see this as caris, right? Okay, and the free living, uh, what? And aquatic free living. Everything you can see in this figure. Okay. Digestive system. We said that the organ system level of organization starts in case of this. I shall mean this. So the digestive system is in, is complete. That is, it has both mouth and anus. Tubular elementary canal with well developed muscular pharynx. They have a tubular elementary canal with well developed muscular pharynx. If you check this figure, you can see everything in detail. They have mouth. They have pharynx. They have they have intestine. They have anus. Two openings, that's the mouth and the anus, and they have well-developed elementary canal. No respiratory system. Anyway, the organ system starts, but no respiratory system and no circulatory system is present. Okay? They are dioecious, that is the sex are separate. Okay? Sexual reproduction occurs. Internal fertilization and development may be direct or indirect. Okay? So in some cases, there will be larvae, and in some cases, there will be no larvae. Okay. Please don't leave at the end of this session because I hope we will finish this topic now itself. And the unique features, their body is circular in cross-section. Look, the cross-section, you can see that their body is circular. Okay. And they have a multinucleated epidermal, epidermal layer. So look, it is multinucleated. Oh, can't see there. Mm. Look. This epidermal layer, you can check it. You can see the multinucleated epidermal. Okay, and it has a thick cuticle. Excretory tube to remove body waste through excretory pore. So it has a separate excretory tube. So we can say that there is a excretory system too. So excretory organ in present in case of this ashelminthus is two is protonephridia. Okay. And it shows sexual dimorphism. Very important. What is the sexual dimorphism? That is, it is its sex are separate. Therefore, we can say that it shows sexual dimorphism. That and the females are longer than males. Look, the end of females, it is somewhat twisted. I think in the NCRT it is given. Okay. I think it the end of NCRT it is given. Okay, in case of males, it will be not twisted at the end. Okay, look, at the end you can see a curling here, but here you can check there is no such curlings. These are the examples. Ascaris, look, you can see the male and female. Ascaris, that is a round worm. Hookworm, that is the ancyclostoma. Filarial worm, that is the ucher area. Okay. Is all that clear? Okay. All these are the examples. Look this and take a screenshot. There is organ system level of organization. Yes, yes, one second, one doubt in between, Pradiba, how to respire through, so through skin. Yes, exactly, they respire through their body surface, that's the skin. Yes, yes. Symmetry, it's bilateral, germ layer, triploblastic, pseudocelomic organism, yes, yes. complete digestive system, but no respiratory and circulatory system. They are dioecious, 
sexual reproduction, internal fertilization and development may be direct or indirect. Okay. And this is all about this phylum, platyhelminthes and ashelminthes. I think I am taking all these topics very slowly. Hope everything is clear for you. Okay. Okay, fine. Yes, now we can discuss something else that is out of this NCRT. Okay. So now answer my question. What is the excretory organ of this platyhelminthus? Excretory organ of this platyhelminthus. Come and me right now. Fast. Right? This one, no? Protonephridia is the excretory organ of this platyhelminthus. So one thing out of that is... Yes, flame cell or uh, not nephridium, protonephridia. Okay. Okay, Nila and Shraddha, protonephridia. And this excretory waste are stored in... Excretory waste are stored in basal granules. Okay. In basal granules, these excretory waste are stored. Important, note it down. Okay. And the classification, if we say about the classification of this uh, platyhelminthus, we can say that it is classified into three. So this Platyhelminthus can be classified into three. The first one, if we say, it is the charbel area. Guys, do you need all those things? Charbel area is the first one. Okay. And the example... In case of this turbal area is planaria. Planaria. Okay. Planaria by palum. Is that clear? Second type, it is Termetoda. Okay. Termetoda. The example is Fascicola. And Schistoma. Okay, and the third one it is Sestoda. The example is Tinea. And the third one it is Sestoda. My God, Tinea and Echinococcus. If it is asked in case of match the following, very very important. Okay, Echinococcus. Cocca spelling, you know, right? A kind of cocca. I know it's very difficult for you all, for all of you to read, but please adjust it. Okay. And next question. Come and me. Where is this head and suckers present in case of this blood? Uh, what hooks and suckers present in case of this blood? They help in this. Come and.
where can you see this i don't know of uh, at the beginning i had 12 likes i think so as per my hope it was 12 now 10 likes and one dislike so i guys i just want to ask you something that is someone is there along with us that is always entering most of our session will have even if we have if we haven't started it and we just schedule we have a one dislike for everything most of the things but i think it was absent nowadays uh, but now again it's back okay so in case of this platy helminthes there are hooks and suckers and they are present in their head region right head region of this platy helminthes and they have their digestive system is incomplete well developed reproductive system okay well developed reproductive system then um, can you name the human blood fluke human blood fluke we studied about liver fluke no sheep liver fluke now can you name uh, tell about uh, what can you tell about this one human blood fluke it's okay it's okay sudilandi comment first do you know or not comment me yes or no no it's not ancyclostoma the human blood fluke it is uh, schistoma sorry schistosoma very sorry i think i am a bit confused today schistosoma okay exactly sridha then sheep liver fluke it is uh, fascicola right then we have uh, what is the pork tape worm pork tape worm come and me the pork tape worm we have discussed it fast the pork tape worm is tinea solium guys we have discussed this in case of the examples right tinea solium okay yes sri langi it's tinea and the ash helminth this they show sexual dimorphism that is their sex are separate uh, then in males the tube of the digestive system and reproductive system they enter in a uh, what in a single chamber both of the uh, what both of the tubes end in a single chamber and that chamber is known as the cloaca okay we are saying in this case this is in case of ash helminth this so that chamber is known as the cloaca okay it no cloaca is present in case of females but in case of uh what in case of males it is present okay Okay. If we discuss everything now, one problem is there that is nothing will be there for us to discuss in out of NCERT. So let's end this session now. Okay. And that's all for today. Today's topics are completed.
so okay then i'm leaving bye all of you okay bye all